Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another session of Teams in 20. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the features that have come into Teams over the last couple of months. Uh, if you haven't met me before, my name is Joe Johnston. I'm a Senior Customer Success Manager here at Microsoft and uh, looking after our amazing um, local government. OK, so what we're going to do, I have got a whole host of features to show you. These are the ones that I find really useful. Um, but I've not included any premium features and I've not included any more technical features. Um, so I think these these are the features I think um, I will use and I hope you will too. But I will show you where I get this information so you can go and have a look at more of those uh, premium features or more technical features if you so wish. So let's let's get into it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that you can now hide the general channel. Lots of customers have asked me for this over the years and it wasn't available. So in the desktop, you can now uh, go into to Teams. You can click on the general channel, three dots, press hide. Uh, it is available on mobile as well, but I think it's it's a toggle switch um, behind the settings of the team. So it's just a, a, just a different way of approaching it, but it is uh, available there. And exciting news is that in future, coming later this year, I don't have an exact date, you're going to be able to rename this as well. I know that has been a big ask from lots, lots of our customers. Uh, another feature that you might find interesting is uh, being able to um, change the profile picture of a group chat. So many communications, trying to figure out where all your your group chats are, your, your individual chats are, your teams, all the rest of it, so your meetings. Um, this is going to help that. Uh, so you can upload your own image. You can pick one of uh, the ones that are available to you there. And hopefully that's going to help you be able to quickly find those specific chats uh, going forward. If you like any of these features, do let me know. Give us a give us a thumbs up or a big heart emoji on the ones that you're interested in. Um, another feature that I like uh, is the availability. Sorry, the ability now for you to uh, attach a file. Usually, it brings up your last kind of five files that you've saved. Uh, actually, what it's going to do going forward is it's going to look at uh, the context of the conversation you're in and actually propose. Uh, the most relevant f five files that it thinks that you probably want for that conversation. So getting a little bit more intelligent, uh, which is really helpful. So you'll you'll see that I think that's in the the products now. This has got to be one of my favourite features. Uh, if you haven't used voice isolation, uh, give it a go. I've got a little video to show you here as well. Um, but this uses AI to eliminate that background noise. And if you've ever been on a Teams call and somebody sat in a coffee shop and there's all I can hear are cups and spoons and stuff rattling in the background, um, or you, you know, it's just a noisy environment, maybe somebody's having a meeting and all I can hear is the person that sat next to them that seems to have the loudest voice in the world. So get rid of those people uh, from that noise in the background, concentrate on the person that you want to listen to. So let me just show you this little video. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear it. Today, work can happen anywhere. Microsoft Teams empowers you to stay connected wherever you are. Oh, sorry, I know, I know it's pretty loud in here. So we need to get ready for this product launch. There are several milestones that we need. Thanks everyone for all your great support and actually at the airport. Thank you so much, John, for putting in the slide. Microsoft Teams voice isolation distinguishes your voice from others, so you're heard clearly in calls and meetings. I was just asking you how your weekend was. They're aware of the delivery timelines and that they agree to deliver on time. And I'm really looking forward to this partnership. It will be amazing for us and the company. They're looking really great. I'm looking forward to sharing this with our leaders. Be heard anywhere with voice isolation in Microsoft Teams. 
So I absolutely love that feature. Um, I think that's going to be really helpful, especially from an accessibility point of view as well. I've got tinnitus. I find it really difficult sometimes just to really focus in on, on what people are saying. So, um, yeah, that's that's going to be great. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy that one too. And then moving on, we've uh, looked at how you create a, a chat and a channel. We tried to make this a little bit easier for you. So if you want to create a team now or a channel, you can go to Teams and get the little plus box. It's going to give you this create channel or create team. In the create team, when you bring that up, it will bring in um, a link to any templates that your organization has provided for you as well. So you can click on that, create more team options um, and select the team uh, name and description and the type of sensitivity, sensitivity you want to add. But for a channel, now you don't have to go into a team, click add channel, create. you can do that from the, this box too. So you select the team you want the channel to appear in, give it a name, what kind of type you want. So um, just trying to reduce how many clicks, make it a little bit easier for you to actually uh, set these up. Um, then communications uh, from calendar. I, I've done sessions before. We've talked about how much time is wasted clicking into different applications, moving outside of Teams to get the information you want. Uh, and it's considerable. So Anything that brings in information from an app that I would usually go out to look at is really helpful. So this is bringing in your calendar information so you can stay on top of your calendar notifications inside Teams. Now, I use the activity bell quite a lot. I do every you know, a couple of times in the day, I'll have a scroll through there, just see what's happening. Um, so in there now, you'll get notifications of things like where you've had a, a meeting invite, uh, changes, cancellations, forwards, all of that in, um, activity that's going into your calendar. You'll see that in the activity feed too. So if you want to go and find that, that is in settings, notifications and activity just underneath. Uh, you'll scroll down to a calendar section. OK, so moving on, uh, we have got now uh, the ability in town halls to, for you to select up to six languages uh, that support live um, translated captions for town hall events. Um, so once you're in the town hall, the attendees can pick from one of the six languages uh, that you, you've offered. If you're a Teams Premium customer, that's actually 10 languages that can be uh, selected from. So global companies um, or companies that have, have got a lot of uh, languages spoken, this is going to be um, fairly useful for them. OK, so moving on to frontline workers. Um, now, in I, I come from retail, so I spent a lot of time looking after retail customers. This is one of the, the most asked for uh, features because um, they're mostly mobile users. And when they log into the connections dashboards, they want to be able to see tiles are relevant for them. So if I work in clothing, maybe I want a set of tiles that's different from my colleague that works in food or I'm a manager or a team leader. So now you've got the ability to have a different um, uh, customizations depending on that role. Uh, so you can see here on the left hand side, uh, there's a different logo here, different uh, name for this dashboard. And you've got tasks are a priority, shifts are a priority, learning and self-checkout less so. But for this um, role, maybe shifts are more important and learning is more important. So you start customising that experience for your um, frontline workers. Uh, then we're moving on to Discover. This is a brilliant feature. So I don't know about you, but I have a ton of channels and a ton of teams that I never look at. Unless you at mention me or I'm replying or tagged in any of the, those communications, I'm not seeing them unless I make a conscious effort to go and look at them. Uh, Discover um, feed basically is a personalized feed that surfaces the most relevant content uh, that's happening in those channels 
based on the people that you work with and the topics that you might be interested in. So it looks through your channel posts that you might not be aware of um, because you obviously weren't up mentioned or you didn't reply. And you could just scroll through this feed and just have a quick catch up on, on what's been happening in those channels. So I've popped in a couple of examples there. So I've got one here. It's, it's put it into my feed because um, this channel is popular. So it thinks I might be interested in that. And then it's put here, yeah, I interact with um, the author of this uh, post here. He's, he's a guy in my team, I speak to him every week. So it's it's thought I might be interested in that. So that is, it's just um, in the discover section under Teams. Now, if you use Teams for personal use as well, maybe using a, a personal Teams app and you have your work account, before you would have to um, sign out of each one of those and log into either your work or your personal account. Um, and now they've come up with a solution that fixes that. So this unified Teams app, so you can sign in and easily just switch between those accounts just in the one app, just makes it really simple for you to do. So if you do have a, a personal a Teams app, I know lots of my colleagues have them where they're doing stuff for schools and um, different clubs they're organising. Uh, yeah, so you can now just easily switch be between accounts without having to keep signing in and out. Um, we've also introduced a new report to Teams Admin Centre. This was actually in the while back. I just wanted to highlight it because it is a question that people have asked me before. Uh, it just gives you basic analytics on external access, you know, with things like shared calling and uh, shared uh, channels coming into play, people interacting with other domains. Um, admins wanted to know, you know, what that looks like. So this is just a report for Teams admins. It's in the admin centre under uh, analytics and reports, and it just gives them a view of external access to your tenant um, and, and, you know, where that's happening, how many times it's happening. This is a great feature as well, especially if you are creating lots and lots of webinars and the, the same people, the same presenters, the same co-presenters. So this is the ability to duplicate a webinar or a town hall um, information. So I often I'm now part of a big co-pilot team. Uh, we put on community uh, events. It's usually similar presenters, similar co-organizers. We want the similar things to be in the email. We want the theme to be similar. So uh, we don't want to have to keep setting that up every time we do a webinar. So now I can duplicate that webinar and it's going to uh, copy over the title, the description, the presenter, co-organizers, theme, registration details, and those custom emails as well um, and meeting options. So everything I need, I can just duplicate that. Uh, and then the, the, the organizer can just go in and, and make the edits that are needed too. So that's a pretty useful uh, tool. Um, another one uh, for phone, if you're interested in that, is the new click to call feature. So you know, can enable your customers to easily reach your organization via your website. So if you've got sales team or support teams, um, they could actually spin up a Teams call via a click to call button on your website. So um, your developers would have the ability to create a, a customized uh, widget that they just pop, pop on the website. Um, somebody presses, they want to call, it goes through to a queue or an auto attendant, and then they start that um, normal Teams meeting. Um, with, with those advisors. So great tool. We see this a lot now in retail. If you want to speak to somebody in a well-known electrical uh, retailer, um, you can go and speak to one of those guys through video conference. Uh, so yeah, we're seeing lots more demand for this. One thing to just call out is it does use um, Azure let me just get my little notes, Azure uh, Communication Services. So there is a cost associated to the number of calls that are coming through that. So, and you do obviously need a Teams phone license. Um, but I'm gonna put all these links into, um, into the community and they're all in the deck. So uh, yeah, go, go and have a look at that if that's of interest to you. Um, you might have already come across this. Uh, you'll have seen lots of Microsoft people, I'm sure, showing this new frosted glass background effect, uh, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, what you might not know is this is just simply a PNG uh, file uh, that's got a transparent background uploaded into uh, Teams and it just blurs out the background, but keeps the text um, or keeps the picture and it keeps the person. So really, really easy to do. You can do this yourself um, and make you know really nice professional looking backgrounds. Um, so the, the Teams admin can actually upload these to the catalog if you wanted to, or you can just do it yourself. So if I give you an example of what that looks like, let me see if I can change my effects so if i put the the microsoft one on you can see really simply but it could be anything um i've taken today's logo that i used uh that I created in designer um and i i used for my deck i could do that but anything with a, a png just simply um obviously has to be the right size uh add it to one of your new uh backgrounds and yeah really really simple but uh effective so let me just go and put my other background back on um a couple of other things to, to shout out um the ability to be able to stop people copying and forwarding meeting chat is now an option for admins to switch on um and also deciding who has access to that meetings options page as well so a couple of um, more restrictive uh, options for admins to switch on. So as I said, there's this great site where you can go and have a look at all the latest information, um, all the latest features in Teams. So April uh, Enterprise Connect 2024 and February 2024, the ones that I looked at and I just pulled a few things out. Uh, but the one that came out last night, because we've currently got Microsoft Build happening, um, they actually published one last night. Loads of great stuff in there. Lots of things for developers, lots of things for Teams Premium, um, but loads of great stuff for the standard uh, Teams platform as well. Um, if you're interested in places, they, they talk about that. So let's just have a quick um, view of some of the things that I've mentioned. So things like uh, custom emojis and reactions. So you're going to be able to create your own and upload those. Uh, they're coming to public preview in June. Um, you can now do a, a meet now in a group chat. I say now it's coming in June, so it won't be long, but you'll be able to, to do uh, meet now in group chat. So if you suddenly need to, to spin up um, a chat and, and get together face to face, that's going to going to be there for you to click on get start, uh, started quite quickly I uh, yeah and then this is going to be really exciting so generating images from Microsoft designer in chat I know this uh, the video is not that great uh, but in this example just asking designer create me an image of this um, I love that uh, so yeah just a couple of ideas of what's coming in um, I hope you find this session useful. You know, just want to, I know everybody's busy. They don't necessarily have time to go and read loads of blogs. So I just wanted to highlight some of those features that are, are in the tool today or coming soon. So thank you so much for joining today. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. I hope you find that useful. Right, take care, everybody. Thank you.